Hey everyone, here is my video about my film criticism essay. I'm going to be watching The Shawshank Redemption and I'm going to be analyzing it through the lens of formalist criticism theory. There are many ways that the formalist theory can be applied to this film. It is a piece of literature that has many lessons which are applicable to people of all ages. Throughout the movie there is a recurring theme that happiness can be found within and that we can learn to make the best of each situation despite what our current circumstances are. The happiness inside of each one of us comes from hope. Hope that there is something better waiting for us. Hope is what gets us through each day. Now, there are several questions to think about when you're using the formalist theory. For example, how does the work use imagery to develop its own symbols? How does the work is put, no, sorry, how, does how the work is put together reflect what it is? How are the various parts of the work interconnected? Is there a central passage that can be said to sum up the entirety of the work? So I'm going to be using a few of those. Let's dig in a little bit more, shall we? Question number one, does how the work is put together reflect what it is? Yes, I believe it does. This movie follows a man who is wrongly accused of murder, and he ends up spending, you know, a pretty decent chunk of his life in jail. Most people in this situation would want to just throw in the proverbial towel. But Andy knows about hope. We see this throughout the whole movie. There is one scene in particular where Andy and Red are talking about what they might do if they ever get released from prison. Andy is telling Red about his dream of moving to Mexico and opening a hotel. But Red is discouraging him and tells him how if he keeps with these thoughts he will end up driving himself crazy. Let's take a look. I don't think you ought to be doing this to yourself, Andy. It's pipe dreams. I mean, Mexico is way the hell down there, and you're in here, and that's the way it is. Yeah, right. That's the way it is. It's down there, and I'm in here. I guess it comes down to a simple choice, really. Get busy living. Or get busy dying. Get busy living or get busy dying. Wow, what a powerful statement that is. Andy understands that if you are not putting yourself and your talents to good use, you might as well be dead. If you just sit there and let time go by, wondering what could have been, what is the point of even living? When you have hope, life is worth living. That brings me back around to the theme of hope. Hope is inside of us. It is something that can keep us going from day to day. With hope, we can choose to be happy even though everything seems to be against us. Happiness is most definitely a choice. We can choose to just sit there and have a pity party feeling down on ourselves or we can choose to make the best of it and be happy. That is what Andy does throughout this entire movie. He takes the resources that are available to him and he makes a really bad situation into something that is pretty good. There's a scene where Andy is in the warden's office, he's cleaning, and he locks himself in there and plays music over the prison PA system. He got into some pretty big trouble for that and thrown into solitary confinement for two weeks. Afterwards, he's sitting in the lunchroom talking to his friends, and he teaches them a lesson about hope. Let's watch. Hey, good question. Was it worth it? Two weeks in the hole? Easiest time I ever did. Oh, No such thing as easy time in the hole. It's about a week in the hole. It's like a year. Damn straight. I have Mr. Mozart to keep me company. <laughs> so they let you tote that record player down there, huh? Same here. Here. That's the beauty of music, they can't get that from you. 
Haven't you ever felt that way about music? I played a mean harmonica as a young man. Lost interest in it, though. Didn't make much sense in here. Here's where it makes the most sense. I need it so you don't forget. Forget? Forget that there are places in the world that aren't made out of stone. That there's a there's something inside that they can't get to. That they, they can't touch. It's yours. Talk about. It. Okay, so my friend. Hope is a dangerous thing. Hope can drive a man insane. It's got no use on the inside. Better get used to that idea. Like Brooks did. Hope is inside you, and people can't take it away from you. The theme of hope is culminated in the end of the movie, where Red is released from prison, and he finally reunites with Andy. Andy reminds him through a letter that hope is something that is very good, and a good thing never dies. This theme of hope is recurring throughout the entire film. We can learn many lessons from it, and I highly recommend it if you have not seen it. Remember, Red, hope is a good thing, maybe the best of things, and no good thing ever dies. I will be hoping that this letter finds you, and finds you well. Your friend, Andy. Get busy living, or get busy dying.